Hello! In this video, we are going to prove the following theorem. Let x be a real number. Then, there exists a positive integer n, such that x is less than n. Okay, now let's get into the proof. To start out, let's give ourselves a real number, x. And from here, our goal is to show that there exists a positive integer n, such that x is less than n. Well, let's assume for a contradiction that this is instead false. What does it mean for this to be false? It means that for all positive integers n, x is greater than or equal to n. So we see that every positive integer is less than or equal to x. And that's precisely what it means for x to be an upper bound of the positive integers. Now, of course, we know that the positive integers are non empty. So, the positive integers is a non-empty subset of real numbers with an upper bound. If you recall, every non-empty subset of real numbers with an upper bound has a supremum. So the positive integers must then have a supremum. And I'll call the supremum u. Now remember, the supremum of a set is really the least upper bound of the set. Well, since u is the least upper bound of the positive integers, this means that every real number smaller than u is not an upper bound of the positive integers. So u minus 1 is not an upper bound of the positive integers. And since u minus 1 is not an upper bound of the positive integers, this means it is not the case that every positive integer is less than or equal to u minus 1. In other words, there must be some positive integer greater than u minus 1. I'll call it integer s. But then adding 1 to the other side, we see that u is less than s plus 1. Right. But then... Since s is a positive integer, surely s plus 1 is also a positive integer. However, since u is the least upper bound of the positive integers, surely u is an upper bound of the positive integers. Which means every positive integer is less than or equal to u. So in particular, s plus 1 is less than or equal to u. But this contradicts the fact that u is less than s plus 1. So our assumption that this is true led us to a contradiction. So we must instead have that this is false. So instead of it being the case that for all positive integers n, x is greater than or equal to n, we must instead have that there exists a positive integer n such that x is less than n. And that is exactly what we wanted to prove. So this completes the proof. And so yeah, that's pretty much it for this video.